Yo, what it do? Welcome back to another episode of Three Wands. It's your man's Lord Shu back with another Keys to the Island step. We are in the Keys to the Island officially. So if you missed the last two episodes, just go on, run it back, check them out so that you're not lost in the sauce. We talked about mastering your position and we talked about creating content. So today we're going to talk about proper distribution and traffic into a funnel, which we, we're going to talk about that, okay? So, if you're new to the channel, please stick around, click that like button and leave me a comment, let me know how I'm doing. And also, if you are a returning subscriber, much love, I really appreciate you. I know you probably already in my email list, thank you, I appreciate you, for real. New blog post coming out, I just started blogging y'all, check every, every blog post out. It's gonna be, uh, basically I'm just giving y'all value, I'm giving you more information, so, d you know, don't sleep, okay? So. We talking about proper distribution and traffic funnels. So in the last episode, we talked about creating traffic funnels or sales funnels for your content. Now, content is created so that you can create a call to action to have people leave whatever platform to go where you want them, whether that be a website, a blog, vlog, you know, so on and so forth. These are examples, but you can come up with your own thing. It might even be an app. You got your own app or something like that, or a Discord channel this is where you might want people to go then you we're gonna talk about that today so there's a bunch of different types of sales funnels you can create one using landing pages which is a page that has your entire sales pitch on a website so it can start from the very top where you introduce you talk about your process you got some pictures reviews and then some videos even and then at the very end it leads them to a product or a website that they can join or subscription now uh, sales funnels are very important because you you don't want to keep all of the people on the different platforms that you um, create content on to stay in these places it's hard to market to them it's hard to show them your content it, it just makes things harder so you want to find people who specifically want what you're offering to them and you want to take them and put them in this sales funnel by creating the content with the call to action and then you taking them through the sales funnel with your your elevator pitch which is you have a pitch about your business you talk about your business in two sentences in an elevator if you meet a, a venture capitalist you have the, that option you send them through the sales funnel and then you take them all the way to a product or a subscription now you got to know what your sales funnel is for what how what what is it leading to so that you know how to specifically set up your call to actions for that so you don't want to create a call to action that has nothing to do with your sales funnel then you'll be confusing people and that's why it takes doing research to know exactly what you are going to send them to now if you know you're going to send them to a website or if you're going to send them to a page on a, a different platform or anything like that then you need to know how to use the platform that you're creating a uh, content on and call to actions for you don't want to not know because the algorithm changes every day social media are trying to keep up with people's attention span and it's very fast very quick so you got to be on top of what these platforms are doing to implement for that you got to be on that same wave with them when new content or a new algorithm comes out you need to be doing research and finding out why so it probably works best to not have so many different platforms. You should pick the ones that you know fit your niche. If you're in business, entrepreneurship, or professional, then you should be using LinkedIn to create call to actions from to lead people to a website or a Discord channel for entrepreneurs or whatever. You need to utilize the platform that fits your niche, okay? It's the most important thing. So always, always keep in mind, when you're doing anything for your business, everything has to align with your vision. You don't want to do things and switch up your vision too much. You might have to pivot to get the, those same points across, but you want to make sure that you're focusing on the vision at hand. If you know this doesn't align with my vision, but someone's telling you, oh, you need to get on this platform, do your research. If you know this platform doesn't fit what you're trying to do, don't get talked out of what you know your vision is to try and compete with other people on other platforms. That's, like I said, on the last episode, what we're not going to do is compete with people. We're only competing with ourselves. Okay? So that's pretty much it for today's episode. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment how I can make these videos better or that you just want to show love to Laura's shoe. 
Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What are you doing? All my re all my returning subscribers, y'all need to put in the comments, hey, subscribe to his channel. He's offering value. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, thank you for watching another episode of Three Wands. It's Lord Shoe. Holla!